We have got an awesome upper body workout coming at you today. This upper body workout is going to target all of our upper body muscles as well as really work the core. So this is going to be a functional style workout. Functional training is it's oh so good. It's going to help you work out any muscular imbalances. It's really going to help strengthen your core and balance. And it is also going to make those everyday life tasks easier. And I don't know about you, but um, I could use all the help I could get every day. So we're going to get right into our warm up. As we begin the warm up, I'll let you know how this workout is structured. But before we do begin, make sure you've got your mat and your dumbbells handy. For the weight, make sure you are picking a dumbbell that is going to challenge you throughout our 45 seconds of work. And with that said, let's open our arms up nice and wide and we're gonna reach across tapping the opposite shoulder. So this is a structure that we have not done yet. So we're gonna work today four sets. The first two sets are gonna work one side and then the other. The third set, alternating. And then the final set is gonna be both arms together. Or I should say the exercise is gonna be both arms working together. Almost there, here's three. Here's two and one. Keep those arms out nice and wide. We're gonna reach up for the ceiling and then pull down. Bring the arms together, close it up, open, reach back high. So as I mentioned earlier, work timer is set for 45 seconds while that rest timer is gonna be on for 20. Last one here, close open, fingertips on shoulders. We're just gonna rotate the upper body. So get that twist in here, warming up the core. Almost through the warm up. We're also gonna have a lot of variations with our stance today, as far as how we're positioned for the exercising or exercises. So that may be standing, that may be one foot, that may be kneeling. So again, it's gonna be a lot of variation. One more here and twist. Now nice big arm circles back. This is gonna finish out the warm up. So make sure the shoulders are nice and warm. Here's three, two, and one. All right, so we're gonna get into our first exercise. So the first exercise is going to be a bicep curl. We're gonna curl with one arm. That opposite leg is going to be lifted for the first set. Then we're gonna switch. Then we're gonna plant both feet and we're gonna do an alternating bicep curl. So grab your dumbbells for that and let's get to this. All right, so dumbbell is in the opposite hand for whatever leg you're bringing up. Now you can always keep just a toe down for a little bit of balance if you need it, but let's begin. And you may notice with the balance that you might need to go down just a bit in weight. But what we're gonna do is try to work to keep the same dumbbell weight when we switch. So if right now I'm working 15 pounds. When I switch over to do the other side, I wanna make sure I work on keeping the same 15 pounds. So one thing when you're working one side and then the other, you may find that one side is maybe just a little bit easier than the other, and that is totally normal. Almost there. So you can see just this little leg lift adds whew, a bunch of extra work to try to stabilize you. So this is a good thing. Here's three, two, and one. Nice, 20 seconds. All we're gonna do, switch it on up. So same thing, you can keep that toe out just for a little bit of balance and then do the curl. Or if you can bring that leg up, bring it up. And we go, five seconds. So shoulders rolled down and back. Here's three, two, and one. Good, exhale as you curl up. Keep that arm nice and close to your body. Don't swing the dumbbell. And if you're swinging when you are trying to balance, you won't be able to because it's gonna totally throw you off. So that's one thing too, working single leg can actually help. Just keep your, your mind on your form because you really have to stay focused on keeping good form throughout. Oh, we've almost made it. We're at three, we're at two, and one, nice. Now we're gonna need two dumbbells, but we get to plant both feet on the floor. So get your other dumbbell, you can adjust your weight. Maybe you wanna go up because you're gonna have both feet on the floor, actually. We're still working heavy, even though we're working functional training. So don't shy away from it. All right, three, 
two, alternating bicep curl now. Take your time, keep a slight bend in your knees, don't lock your legs. Good, halfway. Keep it strong. One more set for biceps after this. This is gonna be both arms working then at the same time. Good, here's three, two. Whew. Nice job. Now, bicep curl, both arms. So bar both arms are gonna be working <clears throat> at the same time. Anytime you need to grab a drink, Dry off, shake it out, go for it. We got less than 10 now though. <clears throat> Here we go in three, two, let's curl. Ooh, the thighs are screaming, that is for sure. Oh my goodness. Almost there. Come on, less than 10. Good, three, two, one. Nice job. All right, so grab two dumbbells, but we're um, going to be bringing it to the mat for a rotational row. But we're gonna say, follow that same structure, single, single, alternating, and alternating, and then both. <coughs> So bring it down, getting ready to go. For this rotational row, you're gonna row and pull that dumbbell, so then the dumbbell faces away. So same side, join me now, here we go. Really think about squeezing your shoulder blade around your spine. Almost there. Here's three, two, and one. Nice. Stretch it back if you need to. All we're gonna do is switch sides here. So we've got about five seconds left. Same thing. Palm is going to be um, normal row. As you pull up, you're gonna rotate that palm out and away. Going in three, two, here we go. Ooh. Come on, really think about that squeeze around, around your shoulder blade. Keep that core nice and tight. Couple more reps, then we're just gonna go into alternating. Good, here's three, two. Oh. Press it back, alternating this time. So we're just gonna do one and then the other, really squeezing, taking your time, keeping that core engaged. We go in three, here's two, and let's go. So rowing that dumbbell up right around the base of your rib cage is where you want to end that row. Now you may be wondering, how in the world are we gonna do both arms? We're gonna stand for the last set. So we'll bring it on up after this set. 
keep on rowing here. Good, here's three, two, and one. Bring it up to stand now. Now we're gonna do that same thing, but we're just gonna hinge over, keeping that core nice and tight. And we're gonna work both arms. So we go in five seconds, so hinge it over. Same thing, we're gonna get that rotation in at the top, and here we go. Take your time down and up. Hold it at the top for a second so you can get that squeeze. Ooh. This is getting tough but you're close. Good, here's three, two, one. Nice job. Now we're gonna bring it down to kneel on the mat. So if you need some extra support under your knees, you can always put a towel under your knees for this. But we're gonna bring it down. This helps us engage the glutes a little bit more here. So we're gonna do a shoulder press. One arm first and then the other. Here we go. Good, taking your time. Now, if you find that you're down here and you're like, this is really, my knees aren't happy about the kneeling, you can always bring it up and just do this standing. But follow the same structure, the single, the single, alternating, and then we'll do both. Ooh. So you really have to think about keeping that core engaged, squeezing the glutes, Stabilizing yourself here in this kneeling position. A whole new challenge while we're doing a shoulder press. Here's three, two, one. All we're gonna do is switch sides. But this is what functional training is all about. You could definitely see yourself in life maybe kneeling to try to push something up. So this is what we're working on. This is helping us get stronger in our day-to-day -day activities. And that's why I love functional training and I think it is so key in your training routine. So I'm so glad you're here right now. We gotta do it again. Other side, here we go. Keep that wrist straight. close. Now we're going to do the alternating next. If you feel like you can go up in dumbbell weight, I'm just putting the reminder out there in case you're interested. We've got three, two, oh, nice. Now we're going to need both dumbbells. Staying nice and tall here on your knees though, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the core. We're going to bring it up. This is alternating now. So we're going to do one side and then the other. We go in three, here's two, and let's go. Now I want you to just think about your core muscles really quick. Just think about them right now because you will feel them engaging as you press up and you stabilize yourself in this move. So we really have got a lot of muscles working. Ooh. Four sets, that's a whole new ball game. Even when we're working with the single and the alternating. This is tough, but you're doing it. Almost there. Here's three, two, and one. Good. Both arms, both arms. So shake it out a second. I am, this is, this is tough. Now compared to a standing shoulder press, you may be going down in weight. That's totally normal. I am too. So, just one little switch can make a big difference. But we've gotta begin in three, here's two, and one, both arms. Every time I close my eyes. 
when you're kneeling, it also kind of prevents you from rounding your back because you've got to stay up nice and tall. So that's another area that you can check with your form. Maybe you notice this is really a struggle. That's something you can think of when you stand next time to make sure you're not rounding your back as you do your shoulder press. Almost there, here's three, two, Ooh. one. Nice job. We got another challenging move here. We're gonna bring it all the way down to the ground. We're gonna do a glute elevated uh, pullover. So get your dumbbells for pullover. We're gonna need two dumbbells for this. Now you have the option to just keep your hips down and do the pullover. And if you wanna do the glute bridge, we're gonna do one arm first. We're gonna lift the hips up, arms out, and we're gonna drop it back in three, two, and one. Keep that arm close and pull over. So again, modification, your hips are just down and you're working a single arm pullover. Exhale as you pull up, driving those shoulder blades and heels into the mat. Take your time as you go down and pull back up. This is gonna be the last one. We're at three, at two. Oh, nice. All we're gonna do is switch sides. So you can let your hips come down for just a second. We go in five seconds though. So let's get ready. Bring it up, bring that arm up, and let's pull. Ooh, this side's a little bit shakier. Oh. I'm feeling that right out of the gate. Oh my goodness. <sighs> really squeeze. I know now we've been holding this glute bridge for quite a while. So make sure you're keeping those hips up and squeeze. <sighs> Almost there. Alternating is gonna be next. Good, three, two, and one. Ooh, both dumbbells now. One arm and then the other. 10 seconds to go. Breathe it out, grab a drink. That 20 seconds is just, I, I feel like we blink and it's, it's time to go again. And here it is in three, two, let's go and pull. <sighs> Exhale as you pull up. Couple reps left, we're almost there. We're under 10 seconds. And this is gonna be three, two, and one. Set number four, both arms. Let the hips come down for a second. Breathe, you can tuck the legs in if you need. Less than 10. So grab your dumbbells, bring it up. We've got three, two, both arms this time. And pull. Keep your wrist straight. Don't let your wrist bend as you drop your arms back. And exhale as you pull, almost there. Good, three, two, one. Whew. I'm gonna stick with these dumbbells, but you may wanna switch it up. We're gonna go into a plank with a tricep kickback. Now, instead of doing the plank on your toes, you can always just keep it on your knees and do tricep kickbacks like that. With your plank, though, if you're doing plank, make sure you have a wide base. So take your legs out wide. 
Get ready, for, grab your dumbbells. We've got five seconds. Tricep kickbacks, same arm, here we go. This set may be the toughest yet. The other thing you have to think about when you're doing this is keep yourself from rotating open. So if you find you're rotating open to do that kickback, bring it down on your knees and do the kickback just like that. So we need to try to stop that rotation. So keep those shoulders square. Ooh. Good, here's three, two, one. Oh, my arm was shaking so bad. Oh, this is a tough one. All right, good, switching it up. That's all we gotta do. So back knees or plank position with that wide stance. We go in three, here's two, and one. Again, don't let your shoulders roll open, keep them square, keep those hips square to the mat. Little did you know that your abs and core were gonna be working this whole time. Full 30 minute upper body workout plus abs. Almost there. Good, three, two, oh, nice. Now we're gonna do alternating. So we're gonna bring the dumbbells back to center, kick back, back center, and then go again. But again, keep that, if you're doing plank on your toes, keep it at a wide stance. Getting ready. Here's three, two, and one. Same with the both arms. This time we're gonna go back to a standing position and do our kickbacks. Keep that solid plank. Nice, strong, straight line. We're not bringing the hips up. We're not sagging down. Keep it strong. Three. Here's two. Oh, you got it. Breathing. Oh my goodness, bring it up. Tricep kickback standing. Ooh. The arms are, we're close. We are close to the end. Hinge it over. Three seconds here, here's two, and kick it back. One round after this with our four set. We're gonna target the chest. So you're close. Almost made it over halfway through this final set here for triceps. Good, we've got three. Here's two. And one. All right, bringing it down to the mat for chest press. Again, you're gonna have that option to stay in a glute bridge, keep those hips lifted. The final set though, we're gonna do um, a push up. So grab your dumbbells for chest press. I'll stick with it. We're gonna do single arm first. Again, you can do this just um, with your hips and bum flat on the mat, or you can lift those hips up. But we've gotta go in three, two, single arm first. Here we go. Exhale as you press. Again, we're modifying with those hips down and just really working that single arm chest press.
Almost there, then we get to switch it up. Here's three, two. Oh. Oh. Good job. Quickly switching it over to that other side. Let's get the hips up, let's get ready to go. And here's three, two, and one. Exhale as you press, come on, keep it strong. Single arm chest press is a really challenging exercise. At least I find it is for me to keep everything stabilized and balanced. So really keep your focus here. If you find that you feel the same way, keep your focus, keep it strong. We're almost there. And that's three, two, nice. So we're going into alternating. Um, four, we have two sets left, and then we're gonna flip it over and do push-ups. If you wanna keep your hips down, Keep the glute bridge out, go for that. I really want you to focus on the chest press here. So again, if that glute bridge is too much, keep it down. If not, hips are up, alternating in three. Here's two, and let's go. Good, really think about squeezing those chest muscles. Whew. Finish strong, we're almost there. Good, and this is three. Here's two and one. Dumbbells off and out of the way. Finishing strong now with push-ups. Knees or toes, that's where we're working. Three seconds, here's two and one. Keep that nice, strong, straight line with your body, squeezing the legs, the abs, and the glutes and you're pressing that floor away. Whew. Now, if you're working to get these push-ups on your toes, I wanna challenge you to try to at least do a couple on your toes, especially after the last few sets that we just did. Almost there. Three, two, oh. Well, that was super tough. I don't know how you felt. Let me know in the comments because I feel like this was one of the shakiest upper body workouts we have done in quite some time. Thanks for joining me. Do not forget to get a stretch and I will see you there. I love you.